When it comes to planet Earth, there are various layers between the surface and the core. Buried just beneath the Earth's surface, beneath roots and soil, is the solid bedrock of the Earth's crust. Bedrock often serves as the parent material for soil, which is an essential ingredient for most organisms that live on land. Air and water can penetrate the rock through cracks and fissures, chemically breaking it up and ultimately creating soil. This weathering of bedrock is so fundamental to life on Earth that scientists have dubbed the layer where weathering happens the critical zone. But we know very little about the mechanisms that control the thickness of this zone where rock, air, and water interact. Fracturing of rock also controls how mountain ranges erode away. Now, scientists have found a way to predict the depth and extent of bedrock weathering, given a location's topography. The group developed a model that estimates the thickness of the layer where the bedrock is broken up or fractured, given the forces generated by topography, gravity, and plate tectonics. The model computes how topography focuses gravitational forces due to the weight of overlying rock and regional forces associated with the push or pull of tectonic plates. It takes these forces into account to determine whether and to what extent bedrock will crack under the pressure associated with a given land's topography. Using their model, they found that if a landscape is undergoing little tectonic compression, the fractured zone should parallel the overlaying topography. Think layers of lasagna. If, however, a region is under high tectonic compression, the fractured zone will resemble a mirror image of the landscape, thicker beneath ridges and thinner under valleys. To test the model's predictions, the researchers visited three sites within the United States with varying tectonic forces. In each location, they took seismic and electrical conductivity measurements to gauge the extent of the fracturing in the underlying bedrock. The speed at which seismic waves move through rock can provide data on the mechanical state of the rock. For example, seismic waves move faster through solid rock and slower through rock containing many fractures. Ultimately, their measurements matched well with their model's predictions. This model could be used to gain more knowledge about the mechanical properties of bedrock and understand how the Earth's critical zone functions. The model may also help gauge a building site's susceptibility to earthquake shaking or landslides.